Welcome to Winging It. We're playing Arkham Horror, the card game. This is uh, Return to the Last King. This is the second scenario in my Men and Silas campaign through uh, Return to Carcosa. This is my first blind run through where I will probably be making mistakes. Uh, mistakes were made in uh, the uh, the last scenario, although uh, it, was, it was actually one I knew about and I just had played it so many times I forgot, which was... Um, I would have required one more two damage attack on the emissary, uh, but I had plenty of time. It wouldn't have been an issue. Uh, and there was actually uh, I played this last night, or I played uh, Return to Curtain Call last night for player, and there was a a card that we I never saw. Uh, so uh, in in uh, my blind playthrough, so I don't know if they, like somehow they didn't get shuffled in or if uh, it was just in the bottom of the deck. But uh, you know that was something that I didn't get to show on on the recording. But uh, it is what it is. So anyway, be uh, be kind to me as I will probably make some mistakes going through things blind. Uh, but I thought it'd be fun uh, to show off my impressions of this. Uh, there's a deck upgrade uh, video that's linked below for each of these decks. Uh, so, uh, without further ado, let's get started. Um, before I draw my opening hands, I will go ahead and just uh, the layout that we've got here. Um, we have Ishimaru. She is the one that is a two willpower test. If you um, a two willpower test, if you have six cards in your hands, uh, we have Jordan Perry. Unfortunately, on the ballroom, he's a two intellect test. If you have uh, ten resources, which is this is the one that gives you resources, so that's kind of bad. Ashley Clark with the two actions. Uh, Constance Dumaine with the three intellect and Sebastian Moreau with the three willpower. Uh, so that's those. Uh, let's go ahead and draw up our opening hands. Men gets uh, six cards because of Studious, which I'm a huge fan of, and I can't wait to pick up another one. Uh, the weakness goes away. She gets the tarot, so she can have that right away. Um, and we'll replace that uh, man pallid mask. Okay, so what do we want? Uh, we definitely do not want two grizzly totems. I guess we'll keep one. Let's see what we got. Perception, curiosity will be good. Overpower, we can ditch that. Are there other things that we want? Um, I think being able to pass these early texts is good. But, you know, we want to uh, get our chance for analytical mind. So we'll just ditch those. They're all, I mean, it's all good cards in this deck, so... All right, uh, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and six. Okay, so yeah. Now I was thinking seven because I had two studios in my last campaign, but that is not this one. Okay, so we've got everything. We've, we've got all our tools. we got a Grizzly Totem. we got uh, Dark Horse, Metal and Branch, Fire Axe. So yeah, pretty much everything we can want, we have. Now it's just a matter of what is the tempo of getting all this stuff in. This is the uh, the downside of running indebted. We won't run into it, but uh, we can't get everything down right away. But it's nice it's nice to have the tarot card down because we are at uh, five intellect already. Now, uh, while I'm shuffling this deck, I will go ahead and run over. Um, we have what we have in the bag. Um, we have three uh, skulls, which is reveal another chaos token. If you fail, place one doom on a lunatic enemy in play. Um, then we've got the uh, the tablet. I hate the tablet, which is negative four if you fail to take a horror. I mean, that one's just brutal. I really, I really don't understand how that's kind of balanced with the others. But who am I? I'm not. I'm not Matt Newman. Um, and then the uh, elder thing is uh, we've got one elder thing, which is the uh, shroud value minus the shroud value relocation. So those are pretty gross. Things you kind of want to be up by four on all these tests, but that's you know not always practically a reasonable thing. Okay, so we will. Uh, Go ahead and draw Silas. He only gets five cards. Doesn't feel so good compared to, uh, to men, but okay. Um, well, we've got a Taiwan brand. We got to take heart. I think we uh, have meat cleaver. We don't really need the meat cleaver or the resourceful. Um, we do want the take heart and the Taiwan brand because we want resources to pay for our brand, and we want card draw to look for our fine clothes. So, okay, we'll uh, grab three cards. Okay, a Peter Sylvester is excellent. And uh, quick thinking. So, uh, our opening uh, with him is probably going to be just to uh, investigate the foyer with uh, with uh, take heart and get two cards, two resources, then uh, play the brand. 
Oh, I can't play Peter though, can I? Yeah. So, looking at, this is the new agenda. I don't know what it says on the other side, uh, but the, the front side is the same. This is just uh, three, uh, three Doom Threshold. And the act, we have a very simple act, which is just gives as many clues as you can, but when you're defeated or um, resigned, then uh, you put your clues in the act, which just generates XP for us. And the foyer is uh, two shroud, two clues, and with a resign option. So I do think Silas plays Take Heart here. Doesn't investigate, so we'll just start with that. Investigate, commanding Take Heart. It's even. If we get the clue, I'm okay with that. If we fail, then uh, cards and resources are good. Elder Sign. Okay, so we pass. So we get the clue. And we'll pull back, take heart. Okay, so. Hmm. I'm inclined to get Peter out and then the Time Worm brand later. So we will spend three resources on the on Peter. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a gutsy move I think, and what do we see here? We can investigate the foyer. Hmm. We could crack, take a crack at Constance with a take heart. Maybe that's safer. Because men could give us cards. Yeah. I think I'm just gonna move into the courtyard and hope that uh, we don't draw an enemy. Okay, so we're going into the courtyard. The courtyard is a five shroud, zero clue. Forced after you enter the courtyard, discard the top card of the encounter deck. If that card's an enemy, draw it. So this is a gutsy move. I'm kind of pushing my luck here. And then uh, Ashley Clark is a parlay. Two actions to parlay, and you get one of her clues. That's what she's all about. And that's the reason I want to be here. Like, I want to be able to spend two actions in my next turn. All right, so we draw. Oh, a Maniac. Okay, after a Maniac engages you, take one damage and deal one damage to Maniac. So, yeah. All right. So we get a damage, and he takes damage. So that's a thing. I think Min is just going to let that happen. She can go into Constance, or we can just really aggressively do Ashley. But now I think. Well, we're going to set up turn for sure. We're going to do, yeah. Because getting Dark Horse down is going to be super useful for us. So we will uh, spend two resources. Down Madame LaVrange, we will spend one resource. Down Fire Axe. I think. Last action, we will move into the living room. This is a three shroud, zero clue. After you perform a parlay action in the living room, draw one card. And we can parlay with uh, Miss Constance. And uh, Constance Domain is simply a three intellect. Ask her about the play. If you succeed, take control of one of the clues on her. So we can beat that. We're going at right now 5v3 without any other changes. We will tap LaVarange to get a clue or to get a resource. She's not Lola Santiago. 
Okay, and we're in pretty good shape. Okay, so Silas will take another damage from the Maniac. Now we will draw a card and get a resource. So Min gets a Guts. Nice. And a resource. Silas will get Not Without a Fight. And a resource. Let's try to three resources. Okay, we are at one of three do. And a tough crowd. But tough crowd. Okay, each investigator must spend one additional action to parlay. Oh, yuck. Well, means Ashley is going to be very tough. Silas will draw. Young Psychopath. You must either take one horror or he gets plus three fight. We'll take a horror. We'll put it on Peter. It's not a big deal. Actually, we're probably just going to evade him. Yeah. So we'll let, we'll let his fight be high. Okay. So, or do we take the horror? Because we could punch, punch. Evade. Is that what we want to do? Because hmm, because we don't have enough resources to get the brand out. I think we will take the horror and just put it on Peter. Leave his evade low. First thing we'll do is we will evade the maniac. Evading it five d one up by four. Minus one. Maniac is evaded. Okay. And uh, we will, I guess, punch the young psychopath. We're at uh, 4b2. It's probably fine. I'm going to commit take heart on the off chance that I just fail. 4b2, punching. And minus one, we'll take back to take heart. And he takes damage. And uh, we'll punch it 4v2 up by two. Okay, he's on a token. If you fail, press doom. Okay, we do not fail. So he is dead. Min will take a resource, which will spend three resources to play Dark Horse, and she will parlay. So, we have one action left, we will uh, tap LeBronge and take a resource from LeBronge, and then we will take an action to take a resource, and then we'll have enough to play Grizzly Totem next turn. Yeah. All right. Wow. We are we are not making much uh, progress here. So the Maniac re-engages, and he goes to two damage. Silas is up to three damage. Min will get deduction. Three resources. And Silas will get Defiance. Nice. And a resource. And we are at two of three Doom. And we get Dance of the Yellow King. If there's no wounding enemies in play, there is one. Uh, and Reddy's moves until he reaches the location and hits you. Okay. So we are going at three. We will commit guts to be four by six up by three. We're not going to add our extra icon. We're going to save that. Oh, and this tough crowd goes away. Up by three. Okay, 
minus three, we pass. And she gets to draw a card, which is a dead card. And then uh, Silas will draw a maggot swarm. Oh my goodness. He is getting swarmed with enemies. This is just horrid. Okay. So uh, that maggot swarm is the location gets plus two shroud. So it's, the shroud is seven. Okay, what are we doing here? We can't even evade, evade get the uh, Time Worn brand out. Okay, uh, so we will evade the Maniac committing quick thinking, which puts us at four by six, the one. Minus two, six, five, four. We succeed by two or more, so we get an extra action. So that's nice. Okay, he is evaded. Now we will, we have three actions left. We will uh, evade the maggot swarm. We will commit not without a fight, which gains an extra agility icon. So we are at four, five, six, seven, three, three, up by four. We will pull back the knot without a fight. The maggot swarm is evaded. And we will take a resource, which gets to five. And we will spend our five resources to put out the Time Worn brand. And now we're ready to fight. Although, <laughs> we'll have taken a lot of damage doing it. But anyway, there's that's where we're at. Okay, men will spend three resources to play the Grizzly Totem, although, yeah. So we get the Grizzly Totem out, we'll put, uh, okay, we are at four, five, six, the Dark Horse, and now we'll do the uh, Constituting yeah. Parlay. That is the Shroud Value Location, which is an 83. So you do get the clue, and you get uh, the free trigger on the living room. You get to draw a card. You gotta wing it, which isn't very useful right now. Last action, we'll do it again. Minus one. We have gotten her clue. Uh, Magnet Swarm comes back, this guy comes back, he does the damage to Silas and takes the damage. And Min will draw a card, she gets hand yellow, okay. That's one of our hand slots, let's put our hand slots up here. Bad timing because we cannot. Yeah, we don't have a lot of cards. We got two dead cards with uh, with our tarot and winging it in our hand. We're not going to take a resource because we got nothing to play. Uh, but she's going to have a tough time clearing that. Okay, and then Silas uh, will get his grizzly totem and a resource. So, let's see what the new agenda says. Okay. So, this is the new Diane Divine. So, she is forced at the beginning of the enemy phase 
Find the bystander with the fewest clues. Oh, each investigator cannot discover clues or take control clues, just like before. Uh, and... Okay. Yeah, she's going to go to the investigator with at least one clue. So, she goes here, and now we can't get that clue. And then she's going to run around. She can't get stuck at a zero, zero clue location, so... That's no good. New agenda, same as the old agenda. <laughs> uh, this is just for us when it advanced. We get a second reality card. Oh, and the other thing we were supposed to do is we were, um, we have a new treasury. Let's just shuffle in with this card. Like so. Okay. All right, and then we'll get. This is the deliri Delusory Evils. I guess this is the replacement for Ancient Evils. You must either secretly add Delusory Evils to your hand or place one zoom on the current agenda. Fourth, when you succeed a skill test by three or more, you must automatically fail instead discard from your hand. Well, with the King in Yellow, we definitely do not want that, so we will pull out a zoom on the agenda. Because we're gonna because when we do the test for King Yellow, we're gonna have to smash it by more than that. So we're gonna treat it like an ancient evils. Okay. Uh fragile thoughts. This is for uh Silas. Discard events from your hand with total printed resource cost. Okay, it's gonna get in surge. I mean he doesn't have any events in his hand, I'm pretty sure, because the only events we have is lucky. So Okay, find dining. Just either place one of your clues on a bystander or take one hail around more damage. Okay. We'll take a horror and a damage. He is getting tough on horror and damage uh, damage. He's got five damage. I'll put a horror on Peter. Okay. So I think Min moves into the courtyard and parlays with Ashley. I think that's what she has to do. So that's what she will do. She'll move in and we have to discard a card and hopefully it's not an enemy. But I mean, all the enemies are on Silas, right? So it can't be another enemy. Okay, yeah, it's just this mask that thing. So we should pull out the man the pallid mask. All right, so that's not a big deal. Uh, that we don't draw that. It's just uh, we have to check for an enemy. There's no enemy. She'll take. Two actions to parlay Ashley Clark. So we've got three clues now. All right. So Silas, he will uh, attack the maniac. Uh, he's at six v three. He's going to uh, commit defiance, naming the uh, tablet token. Zero. We will pull it back. And we will uh this the maniac is dead, finally. After doing so much damage to Silas. We will hit the maggot swarm. is dead. Hmm. We have one last action. We can attempt to investigate and display take heart. Or we can take a resource. She gets us ready for a grizzly totem. I mean, take heart is clearly more efficient than grabbing a resource. So uh, we'll investigate. We can take heart. Two be five. Another token. Okay, minus two. So we fail by a lot. Uh, place one zoom on a lunatic enemy. There are no lunatic enemies in play. And we will draw two cards and two resources. So he pulls 
of prowess and setting below. Things are looking up. And two resources. So we have enough now to play our uh, Grizzly Totem. Okay. So we are drawing cards to get resources. Men gets Analytical Mind. Are we going to take a resource? No, we are not. So we can't use Analytical Mind anyway. We at least want, well, is it worth to actually have the resource? We're just going to draw cards and try to clear, but what are we going to clear with? Right now we can just do, maybe we'll go ahead and take the resource. Uh, no, we'll do it next turn with Mental Lavrage. Okay, yeah. Okay. And so let's get to the Defiance. We have two Defiances. Defiance side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's okay. All right, we are at two. Zoom. Draw. Shocking. Display. Randomly dissolve one of the recipient reality card for any scenario reference. It cannot be canceled. Okay. So, have these set aside over here. And we'll just grab one. I'm not going to read all the flavor text, but this is. Ashley Clark. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. So she is on Silas. And yeah, so I guess I'll show her. She is a 254. She is an elite. So I guess we can exhaust the brand on her. It, she says that enemies cannot draw cards. Of course, it's on a five shot location. Okay, well, that is that. Okay, so that was uh, Min's card. And this is Silas. Peril test two willpower. If you fail, take two horror. Speaking of which, dealer should have said that. Okay, so we are at two. We can commit not without a fight to get two willpower. So we'll do that. Oh, Peter actually, I forgot. Peter gets. So we're up by three. If we commit, right? 3v2, this will be 4, 5v2. And we'll use men's ability to be 6v2. So we're up by four. Let's see. We did need to use this though in order to pass. So, uh, yeah, we should get rid of her. Okay. So that's that. Okay, so now I think we kill Ashley Clark and then move on with our lives. So, what can we do? I think men can probably do Sebastian pretty well. Maybe that's just what we do. Okay. Uh, so, we will do with the Time Worn brand. We will be at 6v2. So, we'll just. 6v2 is good. Minus three, she takes two damage. We will exhaust the brand and commit defiance, naming the uh, I'll just name token. So we're at four, five, six, seven, B two. No, we will uh, actually the uh, with a skull token because we're up by five. So we can pass anything else. Elder sign. Okay. Well. Cool. So we can pull back. Quick thinking. 
to get an extra action. And because we exhausted the brand, we can pull back Defiance. We get three, draw three cards. So let's see what we got here. Okay, we got uh, Psychosis, Lucky, and Steadfast. All right, well, Psychosis is going to go directly into our hand. I think we have two actions left because of uh, pulling back the uh, quick thinking. So we'll just clear Psychosis. And Ashley Clark goes into the victory display. All right, nice. Wish we had an action to, uh, does it make sense to actually not clear Psychosis? Nah, I don't think so. It would have been nice to play the uh, Grizzly Totem, but it's not essential. Okay, Min, right now we gotta be able to commit six icons and she does not have those so she's going to draw the idea is we have this deduction we can class we we want to pass the king and yellow test we want to get these two clues off the courtyard so we're going to draw a card hopefully it's one that will allow us fire axe okay she will draw again looking for intellect icons or a deduction okay so if we do a perception and a deduction that would be one two three four it's not quite enough to be able to clear the king of yellow. We're gonna draw one more card, inquiring mind. Okay, well now we have enough, we just don't have any actions left. All right, so upkeep, we're gonna draw three guts. I think she has too many cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. She will uh, toss a winging it, so that goes into a discard. And, uh, is she going to get a resource? No, she's not. We could tap a barrage. Well, it's too late. Okay. Silas gets a Grizzly Totem, and he's got way too many cards in his hand. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So he's going to drop the Fire Axe. We don't need that. And one of those Grizzly Totems. Okay, cool. Unexhaust the brands. We're in pretty good shape. All right, so here we go. We uh, have to resolve another sickening reality card. Uh, so we will ignore reading the text, and we this is a hey Diane Divine. Wait, does that get rid of each edge? Flip this card with enemy side and switch it with the acid version. Oh, hey, so she goes away, removing that version from the game. Nice. Well, that's new. So she is a, she gets plus three health. Oh, I wish I had saved the exhausting of the brand. <laughs> um, so, oh, she gets plus six health. She's at nine health. After any investigator performs a parley action, move their hand once towards that. Okay. okay, well, that's actually, this is fun for Silas. We can do that. Cool. All right. Happy with that. All right, and then Min will gra grab a tough crowd. Okay, we're not going to be doing any parlaying anyway, so that's fine. And we get a young psychopath, Mystic One Horror, or he gets plus three fight. Okay, well, not ideal. Uh, we will go ahead and take a horror and put it on Peter. It's a bit low. Okay, so I think we want men to go ahead and clear. Actually, I think we want Silas to go first. Do we? Yeah, we want Silas to go first because he can go and evade her. So, all right, Silas is going to hit the young psychopath, and we will commit a quick thinking to this. That puts us at four, five, six, seven, V2. We'll go ahead and add the extra icon from Min to the 8v2. Just to help us pass the quick thinking. Okay, reveal our token. Minus one. So quick thinking goes off. We get an extra action. And the young psychopath is defeated. 
we will spend three resources. Or I can move attack attack. She would have four of nine damage. Yeah, we can't. So we'll put the uh, grizzly totem into play. So then we will move into Diane's location. She can do evade with us. And then we will evade her. We are at four, five. Could be two. Oh, actually, we could just hit her with a stunning blow. That's what we will do. Okay, yeah. So we're at six, seven with the stunning blow. Eight, be four. Yeah, be about everything. Is zero. So she takes two damage. And she's evaded with the stunning blow. Okay, now let me think about this. He can do two four. He can do six damage next turn. Which occur at eight, which is not quite enough to get her dead. So that would be nice for Min to come in. Okay. So uh, Min will commit to she's three four five six. So she's got she has to commit six icons. That's six icons. That puts her at four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So be five up by five. Incoming tentacle. Minus one. Okay, so she got both these clues because of the deduction. And she will draw a card because of the perception. And her perception. Nice. She can go in there and be ready to do things with the fire axe. Okay, so we will second action move into the living room. She will tap with bronze to get a resource. And then for last action, she'll take a resource. The idea is that we will play analytical mind first action next turn. Does she have a prey? Most clues. She will come on to men, so, which is not necessarily ideal with what I just did. Yeah, we'll have to burn action. So maybe instead of doing this, Well, we don't have a weakness, so we can just draw a card. Yeah, we'll just draw a card. King Yellow's gone. And uh, then we play Analytical Mind, move in, and do the final damage. Okay, so she'll draw a card, and she gets another Dark Horse. That's fine. Okay. So she comes back on Silas, already Grizzly Totem. Min draws a Eureka. Nice. So gets our third resource, which is the analytical mind. Silas will get Meat Cleaver, if we ever need to heal any horror. And a resource. So if crowd goes away, we're really not doing well on these parlays. Okay. And we get Delusier, Delusier Evils. What do we about smashing tests. We're probably okay with taking this. Two, six, seven, eight. That's fine. All right. So this means if we succeed a test by three or more, then uh, we automatically fail the test. All right. And then, uh, oh, Silas, who shuffled this? Gets the same thing. This is not so terrible for Tile Silas, I guess. Not really what we want going into a big fight environment, but it means we don't put an ancient evil on there, so. And she's not a retaliate. So yeah, he'll take that as well. Okay, so Silas is going at 6v4 is good. We have a lucky in hand, so 6v4 is fine. Can't always look your way up. 
attacking Diane. That is my score if you fail to win horror. Okay, well, we had a contingency. It's been one. We to be lucky, and we do two damage. Okay. But that does change things a little bit. Um, so we will commit defiance and name that uh, the, the tablet token. That puts us up by three. Minus one, we will take back the defiance. And that makes us succeed, succeed by two, right? Because we are succeed by one. So she is, she takes two more damage. And then, let's see. I guess we'll do the same thing. If we get a zero, we're gonna fail the test, but we're gonna name the, uh, Oh, actually, this is bad, because if we get what we name, so I guess we're just going to go up by two. Yeah. We would pass by three if we got the thing we named, which we don't want to do. So up by two is fine. Zero. Okay. Excellent. She takes two damage. So we just got to do one damage more to her. All right, men, we will spend three resources for the analytical mind. She will move in, and she's going to take a shot at Diane. She will. She's right now going, uh, she can tap the barrage to get a resource. She will spend that resource on Fire Axe, which puts her up to a whopping with uh, she's two three for uh, dark horse four five for fire axe and she will commit a fire axe and tap a uh, analytical mind draw a card and she will get the Eureka so that puts her at two three Two, three, four, five, six. Up by two. Elder sign is what? Plus one. You must choose. You may choose a skill card committed to this test. Okay, so this is bad. <laughs> this is actually very bad because this goes off and we do two damage to Silas. I was not thinking about this. I was he's at two, four, six, seven. He's gonna be one damage away. Ah, oh, that's bad. And then she will do a damage and a horror to him. I say we healed his horror, but yeah, and he'll take a damage. So yeah. That was a uh, and That was a bad move all around. All right, so men will draw a card and get a resource. She draws the ancient stone. And gets a resource. Silas will draw fine clothes. Hey, yes, a damage soak. <laughs> and a resource, okay. We are at two of three doom. Okay, this is for men. Discard events from your hand with a total printed cost of at least X or X is the shroud value. Uh, do we have any events? We do not have any events. So, gain surge. Okay. Men in the battle mask is in play. He is not. 
we are at, because of Dark Horse, we are at a four, five. Let's beat two, so we're up by three. We will uh, commit a Dark Horse. Let's be up by four, and we'll tap Analytical Mind to grab Manual Dexterity. So we are up by four. We got a token. Minus one, so we pass. We get a party guest. Find the bystander with the most clues on it. Party guest is at Athens location. Investigators found probably the bystander asset at party. Within two resources, parlay move guests to connecting location. Okay. Well, we'll put him at Jordan, at Jordan Perry's location. Okay. Uh, so, Silas will commit a defiance, tapping Grizzly Totem. To be at, uh, and using Time Worn Brand, hit double at Diana, so he's at four, five, six, seven, eight. He'll name the skull. Minus one. Okay, she goes into the victory display, so. Oh, wait, minus one. We pull back the defiance, or we can just let this fail. We'll leave the defiance committed, and we'll let this fail so that we get, and then that gets rid of uh, this delusory evils. Yeah. Cool. All right. Now, and we have another defiance, so it's not a big deal. We will uh, commit steadfast, which is worth, we have six, five sanity and one health, so that is worth two fight. So we are at four, five, six, seven, eight. Up by four, dead fast. Tentacle. It will pull the stud fast back, and we will commit it. Again, up by four. We got another token, minus two. Okay. Can't pull Steadfast back. She now goes for the victory display. I was gonna get out his fine clothes, but not really an option. Okay, so Min can at least parlay with Constance and we can get her done, which is a thing. Oh, did she grab a resource? Why did I do that? Well, it was actually the thing I would wanna do, so. We will spend a resource to put down Ancient Stone. Then we will uh, parlay with Constance. We are at four, five, six. We'll commit a Eureka uh, and use her ability to get up to eight. So we're up by four on this parlay. Draw another token, minus two. All right, we get the clue, and we at least get to say that we interviewed her. So that's a thing, yay. All right, so that was our, so our first section was that. Oh, we get to, uh, so we get to draw, we get to look at top three cards and pick one for Eureka. We definitely want Curiosity, because the goal here is to beat the Ancient Stone test. And we'll shuffle that back in. And then we'll draw a card. This is for the parlay. She gets curiosity. Okay, we got lots of curiosity. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we played the ancient stone. We did the parlay. We're gonna move into the courtyard. Please don't be an enemy. Maniac. Okay, so we get a damage. And we do a damage to Maniac. 
Okay. And then during upkeep, we take a second damage. We'll put one of these on the branch. Okay. That is what it is. All right. Uh, upkeep, and then we'll get an overpower. No, I just got to drop a card. It will be the, uh, the tarot. Silas draws. Meat cleaver. Oh, and we have one of these that heal damage. Two, three, four, five. Three resources. Okay, and of course we have to do another new reality. Sebastian Moreau. Okay. Um, and he is 353. That cannot be canceled. These three clues go here. It goes away. All right. So, I get to draw some encounter cards. Maggot Swarm for men. And Bleeding Walls. Is the shot value location? He's going to get three willpower. Mm, we don't want to lose an action, that's for sure. So. Min, let's so throw him. Let's see, a guts. She could with the next try. She could be it. She could be it. he could be it two. We're trying to beat three. We want to be up by four. So he wants to get up to seven, which he's giving him five icons. Well, let's see. if she gives him a curiosity. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Curiosity would be three willpower. Plus the grizzly totem, plus her natural adding one to it. So that would be three, four, five. And he will commit uh, a meat cleaver. So he's up by five. Actually, she will not do her icon, and he will uh, do his grizzly totem. To make him up by five. Up by four. He's at two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. So he's at eight to beat three up by five. Oh, we don't need to do that. Okay, so she won't do her grizzly totem. So he's at two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven feet. Three is up by four is good. Minus one. Okay, excellent. Okay, so all that goes away. is done. Okay, so I guess men has got to deal with just fighting. We kill the maggot swarm first. We haven't used her icon or her grizzly totem, so she will go to, she'll commit an overpower. So that is two, three, four, Five until it hurts to be six. So we're at two, three, four, five, six, three, three. That's all I can do on the maggot. Okay. 
zero. Okay, so they're dead. And I think she will evade the maniac. Bang. Manual dexterity, which gets her to two, three, four. And Eureka. That gets her to 5v1 on the maniac. Is this what I want to do? It's not really what I want to do. Oh, yeah. It is what I want to do. Okay. 5v1. 6v1, because I, I was not including Dark Horse. So, I guess we'll keep the Eureka and just do the Mayo Dexterity. So, 2, 3, 4, 5. Four. All right, Maniac is evaded. And we get to draw a card for Manual Dexterity, which is an unexpected courage. Great. All right, now she wants to test Ancient Stone. Plus three shrouds. So she's five, six, seven, eight. Shroud is eight. So we're at four, five, six. We go seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 11 versus 8, uh, not quite enough, and we'll commit a curiosity, it's be 12, so we're at 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, for the ancient stone test. Right, it's minus four minus the shroud location. Twelve minus wait, why did I go up to twelve again? Oh, because we went to twelve. I forgot about the minus five. And we're at eight. Twelve. We failed. Unbelievable. And we take a horror. Well that was just the worst. And we lost all those cards. All right, well, whatever. Okay, enemy phase. Oh, wait, not enemy phase. That could not have gone worse. All right, uh, Silas will spend one resource to put down fine clothes. He will move in to this location, the gallery, which just says, after you end your turn in the gallery, it has two willpower. If you fail, place one of your clues in the gallery. So he will be dropping his clue here. And then we will uh, evade Sebastian Murrow. We put down the fine clothes so we have a soak. All right, we're at four, five, v three. So we defiance, we'll commit defiance to be six, v three. And we will name the uh, Elder King token. Zero. So he is evaded. Okay. So, upkeep. Smashing comes on. Oh, and we could have pulled back the defiance. So that's fine. All right. Uh, this uh, maniac. Back on to men, he takes the damage. And she will take, uh, before the end of her turn, she will tap with Blanche to take a resource. And then she will ready everything. Okay. And then men draws an inquiring mind. Only got a clue on this location. And she gets another resource. Oh, this maniac is taking two damage. Silas. Take heart. Three resources. One of three doom. 
get uh, bleeding walls from men. Uh, we're testing. Okay. For if you fail, there's one action, take one horror. Well, we're going to be failing this because I have no. I mean, we could, we could commit a guts to this. We, uh, we're trying to beat a five, and we could, uh, get our, our willpower up to four, five, six. Well, actually, no, we can use our grizzly totem in our guts. We'll tap analytical mind to draw a card, which is a lenient, not helpful. Okay, so four, five, her natural ability, six, seven, eight. So we're going to get eight, a five. With this guts test, or this uh, bleeding wall test, minus four. Take horror. I think I took a horror unnecessarily before, but whatever. Okay, so we failed this, and we lose our guts. Man. I'm just getting brutalized by the bag here. All right, Silas. Dance of the Old King. Oh, he was supposed to do this two willpower test, which we'll go ahead and do this. So he's testing it 2v2. The, what, when was that? When do we do that in the gallery? So uh, this is at the end of your turn. I'm just going to get 2v2. I wouldn't have my take card yet. <laughs> Minus three, so he drops his clue. Okay. Now we're going, we're, uh, this three willpower, if you fail, your enemy moves one location at a time, engages and makes an immediate attack. That would be the Sebastian Moreau, which would do two damage to us, which we really want to avoid. So, yeah, if you fail in this, so we want to beat this. We are, uh, we're at two. We'll commit nautical prowess to be up at three, four, and then I'll go to five, six if we draw a negative. So, I guess. We'll commit a uh, meat cleaver as well. So we're at two. Oh wait, no, we don't need that because of uh, Peter. So we're at yeah, two, three, four, five. Five v three. Minus two. So see we can leave the stonical prowess at two right two three oh we could have done the grizzly totem but anyway two three four five i got a negative two right yeah so we can actually draw a card with the stonical prowess because that's one of the options if we draw a negative and we get a quick thinking that's really good actually uh so we pass that Hands the yellow king. All right. So, um, has already done this. Can she pass this? I don't think she can. She have to start drawing cards, I guess. All right. Uh, she will bottom out her fire axe and the maniac, going at two, three, four, five, six, and then seven from dark horse. She's at seventy-three. Token. Nice one. Maniac is dead. Let's see. We can go in and we can. That was action one. Action two. She moves in. And action three. She can hit Sebastian. At, she's at. To, we haven't used Mana Lavage yet, so we can use Mana Lavage to get a resource, spend it on the Fire Axe, that gets her to two, three for Dark Horse, 
four, five for the fire axe, and then six, seven, eight for acquiring mind. So we're gonna get eight D three. Silas will commit his quick thinking to this. So it's ninety three. Minus four, nine, eight, seven, six, five. So succeeds by two, so quick thinking goes off. Takes two damage, and Silas gets to take a free action. All right, so he will hit him at 63. Zero, that's two more damage. Six V three. Zero. And he goes into the victory display. Silas has two more actions. He's going to move out of here into the courtyard. I have to discard a card. Hopefully it's not an enemy. It's not. He's going to say okay, which is fine. And he gets one more action. Because he got the free action. He's hit, he hit Sebastian twice, right? Yeah. And one of those was his quick thinking action. So then he, had, he attacked him once. Move okay, so we're gonna move into the dining room, which is heal one horror, then reveal random location or random token if it's one of those tokens. Uh, skull or auto fail, reveal uh, take one horror and place one zero in the dining room. Well, just no desire at all to, 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 to heal horror. We've got that's what we have Peter for, all right. Uh, and then we've got Ishimaru, which is if you have six. Or more cards in your hand, parlay, test two willpower, and you can get stuff from her. So we do not have uh, we don't have six cards in our hand, even close. So yeah, we're just gonna be drawing up cards to be able to do that, but whatever. It's close enough. Alright, so that's everything. Um, Min should have tested her two willpower. She's at five v two. We'll go ahead and do that test. To drop a clue. 5v2, plus one, she keeps her clue. All right, she probably wants to get those clues anyway. All right, uh, so, you ready everything? Get a card, unexpected courage, and a resource, Silas gets a resourceful, and a resource. We're at two of three doom. Min gets a party guest. Find the bystander with the most clues on it and put a party guest asset into that. Okay, it doesn't say they can't have more than one. So we will move this party guest here to Jordan Perry. And then Silas will get fine dining. One damage and one horror, place a clue on a bystander. Okay, well, we will put a clue on Ishimaru. Because we're not going to take a damage and horror. <laughs> I, would, uh, I would get rid of our fine clothes or kill Peter or something. Okay, uh, so Silas is going to investigate. The shroud here is two. We really want to fail. We may take heart for this. We should heal the horror off here. Minus two, we fail. So we get 
two cards to resources, he will draw Lucky. And another fine clothes. Nice. Okay, we're at four clothes. Uh, four cards. We'll draw another card. Let's put the courage. Five. And another card. Resourceful. Gets it to six. So we can now start parlaying with Ishimaru next turn. Of course, she'll probably turn into something evil between now and then. All right. Uh, Min will investigate. We want the clues. She'll commit deduction for this. Uh, she'll tap analytical mind. And grab the man of the pallid mask from the foyer. And we are at uh, five B one. No. Seven B one. And we auto fail, of course. Alright, we'll just investigate. Uh, 61. Let's see, we get a clue. And we will investigate. Oh, we actually we have winging it. Yeah. Somehow I grabbed a resource, so I wasn't at 62, I was at 5v2, but whatever. Let's spend our resource. Play winging it from our discard pile. Which lowers this round to zero. Should have remembered. Okay. Okay, draw another one. Minus three. We get two clues. And that shuffles back our our, our draw deck, which is not ideal. means we'll draw it and we really just want to draw an intellect icon so we can beat the ancient stone but whatever okay she has to take her willpower test she is at five v2 elder sign so she passes Okay, and ready everything. She gets Nile Mirage. And we won't take a resource. Silas will get an unexpected courage. Resource. And we have to resolve another second reality, which will of course be Ishimaru, right? Jordan Perry. Okay. Okay, well, at least these party guests mean nothing, right? Yeah. And Jordan Perry drops his clues on the ballroom. And then he becomes this uh, 828 beast. Begin in phase, heal one damage from Jordan Perry. He is a hunter. 282. All right, then we are drawing from the encounter. Men will get and psychopath. She'll take the horror. Not a big deal. And tough crowd. Each investigation has one additional action to parlay. Well, I guess we're not parlaying Ishimaru anytime soon. Crazy that uh, Silas hasn't gotten his track shoes. Not that it matters that much, but okay. Men will uh, the psychopath. She'll tap the bonds to get a resource and then spend it. That gets her up to five v two. Pretty good. Plus 
one. We killed the young psychopath. And then let's see we will investigate. Sixty one. We got this last clue, and then I think we're moving into here. We reshuffle and hope we don't get an enemy. Okay, bleeding walls. Lose one action. Oh wait. We don't actually resolve that. We just discarded that. That was our last action. Okay. So Jordan Perry could come in on men. What good would that do us? And then she'd be that location. She could wail on him with the fire axe. And then Silas could move in. What would Silas be doing this turn? Well, he's all set up to do the parlay. But he can only parlay with her once. Oh, but it seems, seems beneficial. Okay, Silas will uh, parlay with Ish Ishimaru Haruko. Takes two actions to the crowd. She's uh, he's doing it two v zero. That is minus four. It doesn't matter. Or minus two is a shot, but it doesn't matter. We get the clue because we're testing at zero. Okay, so not too bad two actions. Third action, do we move into the courtyard? I don't think so. I think we just stay here and draw a card maybe. No, because his signature would kill him. So we don't want to draw a card. Move into the courtyard. Why would we move into the courtyard? I guess we'll just get a resource. The resource. All right. So Jordan Perry moves in on to Min. She takes the damage and horror. Attacking Min. Everything readies. She gets the guts. She's not, uh, she can take a resource. Yeah, she'll take a resource because she's planning to fight. And Silas will take, ooh, a stunning blow. Nice, okay. That actually is pretty nice. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And he gets a resource. All right, tough crowd goes away. Got right, one down. And we get the Coalesce Beckons to mail He attacks each player in investigator order, so everybody takes a horror. So that's fine. And then we'll take a horror. Put a horror on Peter. And then Silas will get Fancy low king, just three to power. Okay, we gotta beat this somehow. Not too difficult. We're at two, we're having to beat three. We will commit defiance naming the elder thing token. No, we got lucky. Here, I expect to encourage this. I think that's what we will do. I expect to encourage using the grizzly totem to give it three icons, sort it two, three, four, five, and then six from Peter. So we're going at six v three. And we got the walking again. Six v three is good.
Oh, no. Okay, so this guy. Extraordinary. Where is he? He's on men. Ready's. Oh, he only does damage to heart. That's fine. Okay. Uh, so he will kill our fine clothes. Which is fine. We have another fine clothes. So, a huge deal. And we will pull back the end of the courage because we failed. So, what does men have the ability? Men hasn't, uh, hasn't done anything yet. She's the unexpected courage in the barrage. She's a, she'd be at six. So if she, if, if she committed unexpected courage and used the grizzly totem and her ability, that would better get her to 10 B8. And she could be at three up with mana one barrage. Okay, I think Min is gonna draw a card. It's wing it. She's gonna draw another card. Ah, grizzly totem. Okay, she is going to uh, commit Unexpected Courage and Mana LeBrange. She was at Grizzly Totem. She had two icons, one from Grizzly Totem, one from herself. So she's at four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, four. Yeah, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. She's going at eleven V8 on this uh, test. Eleven tonight. Okay, so she beats it. Oof. Should not have done that. Okay. Anyway, okay, we're uh Does she have anything she can commit to this fight? She does not. Okay. He is uh up. Come on, and we've already pulled back our card. This is just a nightmare. This is just a nightmare. Okay, so we lost our stunning blow. All right, we'll evade Jordan Perry. I feel we're just treading water now. At uh, five v two. Minus four if you fail to take one horror. We do fail, we take one horror because I was too lazy to commit anything to this. Okay, we're gonna evade. Command resourceful. 62. Should have done this before. Oh, actually, no. Sorry, I forgot. We're gonna spend one and play lucky for that last. So we don't take the horror. We do play lucky. He is evaded. And then we will spend one resource to put fine clothes back into play. Or, yeah, we'll put fine clothes back into play. All right. And then Jordan Perry comes on, and Min will draw her last card, which is another ancient stone. Are we going to grab a resource? Might as well. Bottom out our, our fire axe into Jordan Perry. We'll just make that a focus. Peter will, or um, Silas will draw his track shoes finally. Up six resources. Two of three doom. I'll draw, she'll draw a uh, bleeding walls. Trial value relocation, which is five. We'll commit guts, early totem, and her ability. So she's at four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight B five. That is 
minus one. She passes and she gets to draw a card, which gives her a horror. She's looking at her deck. And she draws an unexpected courage. Well, we can do our thing again. But this time we know that we have to get rid of our resources somehow. Okay. Um, and then uh, Silas will draw a maggot swarm. Okay. That's fine. Man is still going to go for these ancient stones. She's going to draw a card. She gets Eureka. She's going to draw another card. Guts. Okay, she will uh, do the test. Ancient Stone, she's at four, five, six, seven, eight, and then oh, we already did the Grizzly Totem and her thing. So never mind, we're not doing that. We drew, we drew all these cards and we didn't need to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, we'll draw another card. We get Madame Lourage. Okay. Next, next time we'll smash it. Silas will evade Jordan Perry using Resourceful. So we're at 672. Okay, we'll use Resourceful to get back Stunning Blow. Jordan Perry is evaded. Then we will hit the Maggot Swarm with the Time Worn Brand, committing our other Resourceful. Minus one, and we will get back uh, our lucky. And this, that magnus one is dead. And then we will parlay with Ishimaru. She is two, or zero willpower with defined clothes. Plus one. All right, we got another clue. Right, excellent. Upkeep. Jordan Perry is back. And then we'll get a fire axe. And uh, we'll up, we go, go up to three resources. Max, we can spin fire axe. Not without a fight for Silas. And a resource. Another sickening reality card. Let's find out what this one is. This is crazy. Yes. Parley test four. Yeah, Hunter. Where does this guy go? Oh, I bet I should read the text on the back. Choose a party guest in play. Each investigator takes one damage. Place one unit. All right, so this is a hunter, and you can probably test four, exceed me, and she get two and ability to respond to fears. Wow. Okay, does the damage well? So that's a thing. And do we discard this? This goes into the discard. And then we draw the young psychopath. You see there's one horror. We don't have to fight with him. So we don't mind taking the horror. Alright, we should have cleared this one, Peter. 
Okay. I was hoping we could parlay Ishimaru. Um, we do one doom. Yeah, we'll place one doom on the card. Do that. Okay. And that craze guess is going to become a problem. But anyway. So now. Uh, Min is going to test Ancient Stone. She's going to commit. Uh, so we're trying to be eight. We are at four, five with death. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we're at twelve, the eight, right? The extra two are coming from her grizzly totem and her ability. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve, the eight. Best I can do. We still lose to the minus five token. Elder sign, we get to pull back a skill card, which we will pull back on expected courage. That's nice. And we get to do a filter draw with Eureka. So we will take probably what? I don't really need to evade, I don't think. Maybe that crazed party guest. Uh, curiosity is worth a lot, so uh, we'll take perception. No, we'll take the uh, we'll take the curiosity. So we have willpower. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. So that was our first action. So connection, okay, and the Sanction Tone is finally solved. She moves into the dining room. And she will take, uh, uh, she will unload her Fire Axe onto, I guess, Jordan Perry. No, onto Young Psychopath. So she's at two, three from Dark Horse, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, B2. Location. It's fine. Young psychopath is dead. Thank you, man. All right. Uh, so Silas is going to um, hit Jordan Perry with a stunning blow. So is it seven B two? It's good enough. one. Alright, so uh, Jordan Perry takes two damage and is evaded. We still have six cards in hand, so we can parlay with Ishimaru. So we will do that. Ishimaru is protecting versus zero. 2v0 on the willpower check. This is a fine close. Okay, we get a clue. Tentacle! No! Goodness! Gracious, okay. Oh, she'll probably be the sickening reality, right? Okay, Jordan Perry will come on to Craze Guest. We'll go on to Min, which does a damage to her. We'll go grab a card, which is Eureka, and she will not take a resource because we're just going to try to evade this Craze Guest and get out of here. 
Silas will get Dreams of the Deep, which would kill him. I think we have no problem dealing with that this turn. Okay, and then we're at two of three doom. And we will get Divine Dying. You place one of your clues on a bystander or take one damage and one horror. I don't want to place a clue on a bystander. Actually, on a bystander, so we could put it on to Constance. Yes, okay, we'll place one of our clues on to Constance because we've already interviewed her. Because it doesn't say anything about not being able to get clues in there. No. Okay. So we've interviewed her. That's fine. Okay. And we get Dance of the Yellow King. He surge. The nearest leads to me. Okay. okay. So we will. This is a good Dreams of the Deep kind of test right here. So we'll commit Dreams of the Deep, which brings us down to zero. We're trying to beat three, right? We need to be up by four. So we just need to get up to seven. So we will commit, not without a fight, is worth uh, two willpower. So that gets us up to two. And Unexpected Courage will get us up to four. We use men's ability to be five, there's a totem to be six, and we have a lucky. Yeah. Um, we'll just say the grizzly totem is on the unexpected courage and men's ability is on the not without a fight. So that if we get to pull one back, We get a negative two. All right, so we definitely pass. I think we can pass keeping the unexpected courage, right? Because we would be at zero because we're the deep. And then one, two, and then three. Yeah. So we'll lose those. We'll take back the unexpected courage. We get rid of dreams of the deep. So nice. Okay. We got this. Uh, Alrighty then. We will uh, evade Jordan Perry. So we are at 5v2. 5v2 with a lucky. So 5v2. We're evading Jordan Perry. Nice two. It's evaded. We will parlay. Ishimaru. Uh, her last clue, and we she is uh, interviewed along with uh, Constance. Now, do we put the track shoes into play? Do we move? See, if we move, I think we can almost be done very quickly here. So I think we'll move. Oh, yeah, we'll move. And then the man will just need to evade the crazed guest. Does she have a way to do that, though? She does. Okay. Right. She has used all of her stuff, though, I think. Right? No. She hasn't used any of her stuff. Okay. So, she will evade. She's at three because of Dark Horse. She can commit uh, Unexpected Courage, which with her ability and the Grizzly Totem uh, is... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, before. And she'll uh, go ahead and throw in a, a grizzly time with that. Eight, before. Zero. Okay. 
the crazed guest is evaded. Second action, and then we move into the ballroom. Let's take a look what the ballroom is. It's a force round, zero clue, but there's three clues there. And after you perform a poly action, gain two resources. Well, we can't do that. <laughs> but we're just trying to get clues and get out of here now. So, uh, Min will uh, tap LeBronge and get a resource, and then spend that resource to play Winging It, which will reduce the Shroud down to three, and she's at four, she's at six, be three, and we'll commit Eureka to be seven, be three, up by four. Zero, so we get a clue. And we get to do a filter draw with Eureka. So we have the next three cards. Deduction. Obviously, we want deduction. We do not want the king in yellow. Hopefully, we do not draw that. Okay. So Jordan Perry heals his. Uh, no. He has one damage because he should have had two damage and he healed one. Okay, Craze Guest goes. Uh, okay, Min draws Perception. Good. And she's not going to take a resource. Everything readies. Silas will grab another Peter Sylvester in case we lose one to damage. He's at nine resources. It's Ishimaru. They're all going to be coming for us. Uh, she is a 6-4-3. After you deal damage to her uh, by effect of an attack, draw the top card of the encounter deck. So she is up here. She's a hunter. We just need to get out of dodge. All right. Uh, drawing an encounter card, we get Delusory Evils. We'll put a Doom on this. Fine, and then Silas will draw. Shock and display. Random resolve one of the sickening reality cards. Okay. So we get Constance Dumont as a main. Okay. So she drops her clue. She is here. And that actually is the last sickening reality card. So we have got to be done here, but I think we can be, uh, yeah. So, uh, can we get the man in the pallet mask is the question. He is a, and we'd have to investigate. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. So first thing first is Silas is going to go into the foyer and he is the man in the pallet mask is just a four intellect. So Silas will commit Unexpected Courage, using, um, well, actually, yeah, he is, uh, yeah, fine. Unexpected Courage using the Grizzly Totem, which gets him up to two, three, four, five feet four. And we'll use Defiance to be six feet four. And we will name the Elder Earth Thing token for six feet four. We have a lucky in hand. token. Okay, one. So we defeated the man in the pod mask. So that was one, two. Then we're going to resign. So Silas is out of there. And Min will investigate. She is at four. Uh, she's at six to beat four. Deduction will be seven to beat four. Perception, well, wait, four, and then she can just do this and add her ability. So four, five, six to be four. Oh, six, seven, eight, nine to be four. 
is it? She's at six. Ten. Seven. Eight. We don't need that for this. Using her icon add, she's at eight to be four. Elder sign, she can get back her deduction, which is nice. She gets two clues. She moves. How many clues do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we're just going to resign. <laughs> I could push my luck uh, to try and make it one more round, but uh, a lot of damage and. I think we're in good shape. So as far as victory points, we do get the victory point from killing this special uh, Diane. And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 14 clues, or it divides by two, right? So seven XP to, 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 to grant between them. So uh, they're gonna get five and four respectively. Because uh, four and three, and then plus you get one for that. So I'm good with that. Um, they uh, managed to murder uh, Ashley and Sebastian, and they managed to get uh, interview Constance and uh, Ishimaru. Anyway, that was a long one. Uh, pretty crazy. I, I got out. Uh, <laughs> We'll have one health left on, on Silas, uh, but uh, you know we got a reasonable amount of XP, we got a reasonable amount done, and uh, we will probably murder the everybody before we'll I burn the house down. But I'll have to go ahead and think about that. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, this was definitely I do like the changes they made to this one. This this actually was a uh, there's a, a, a pretty cool changes to this one. So it's it's uh, it's a lot of fun. I enjoyed it, and uh, yeah. Looking forward to doing the rest of this campaign. So uh, see you guys next time on Winging It.